I used to be a good person, but now I've given in to gossiping. I used to be consistent with my schedule, but now my life is total chaos. I used to be a vegetarian, but now I'm just a pescatarian. I used to have a social life, but now it's been taken over by a social network. These four girls have one thing in common. They all needed to sort out their priorities. Well, what if they had help? I really need to save this money for college. But I... But you should buy that can of tuna. But I'm a vegetarian. But you should buy that can of tuna. What should I do? I need help. Saver? I got a call for help. That was like an hour ago. Oh, sorry. I was stopping somebody from maxing out their credit card. Charge it. Huh. Anyway, why did you spend your money on that can of tuna? I was peer pressured. What's more important? College and tithing, or a can of tuna. Maybe next time you should stand up for yourself once you believe it. Maybe you're right. Thanks, Super Saver. You're welcome. And then she finally bought the can of tuna. Wow, that sounds horrible. It was horrible. Wasn't it horrible? Uh, well, I don't know. We were pressuring her pretty intensely. <laughs> totally. And can you believe it? She invited us to her birthday party. That will probably be totally lame. I'm not going. Are you? No. Are you? Uh... Okay. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> It is I, Supervision. Well, it looks like you aren't seeing the good in others. You shouldn't judge people you don't know. You should always see the good in others. You might have more in common with them than you think. Maybe we should go to the party. Give her a chance. That's a good idea. She has a great personality and an even greater smile. Thank you, Supervision. I'm wonderful. What happens to a dream deferred? Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun? Or does it fester like a sore and then run? Oh, hey guys, um, I was just practicing my line for the school play. Um, thanks for coming to my party, why don't you come in? Would you guys like some orange juice? I bought a bunch for the party. We love orange juice. It is our absolute favorite beverage.
That was a crazy party. I think I forgot to do something, though. That's right. I was supposed to help my neighbor. Don't you mean neighbor? Oh, yeah. Oh, well. I'll help him later. I'm going to take a nap. Okay, I'm going to go home. Get on Facebook. This ain't my house. This ain't my accent. Super speed? Yes. Yes, I am. Where am I? You are in the land of procrastination. Ha! Was that? Yes, it was. Am I? Yes. Yes, you are. If you procrastinate, things will pile up on you. Your life will be total chaos, and you won't seem as trustworthy. No one will trust me? Yes, no one will. Uh, Wilbur? Yes, Wilbur. It's been five minutes. I have to go help Wilbur. Wilbur, I'm so sorry I didn't help you when I said I would. That's okay, because I'm quick to forgive. However, you should always remember, Alma 34, procrastinate no mare. I mean mo. <laughs> That was one crazy party. <laughs> Good times. I missed out on that because I came home to get on Facebook. I think I may have a problem. I need help. Did I hear a call for help? Did I hear a call for help? Listen here, when did you get here? Would you like to tell me what your problem is? I always listen. I know, listen here. My Facebook, I mean, my problem, is that I'm missing out on everything. Well, look around. Hmm. I think you may be spending a little too much time on Facebook. That may be the reason you're missing out on so many exciting events. Like helping your friend help her neighbor, Wilbur. Or the Harvest Festival. What do you mean? I missed the Harvest Festival? It's a shame. What should I do? First, we need to turn off that computer. Second, you need to get out of that chair. Third, you need some fresh air. Isn't it nice out? Yeah, it is. I think I might take a picture of the clouds and put them on Facebook. I'm just kidding, listener. So now that I have your full attention, here's what I think you need to know. If you're always consumed by worldly distractions, you'll miss out on spending time with your friends and family. Sometimes all you need is a bit of peace and quiet to hear what's really important. That makes a lot of sense! Thanks, listener! No problem. I- It's time for lunch! I think I hear my mom calling me in for lunch. And that wasn't even a pun. I'm here, Mommy! 
Oh, hi, honey. I invited two friends over for lunch. Did you girls learn any lessons today? <laughs> today I learned that it's important to save your money and to stand up for what you believe in. I learned that procrastination ends in disaster and that it is good to be quick to forgive. I learned that eliminating distractions helps us to keep in tune with what's really important. We also learned that we should always try to see the good in others and to refrain from gossiping. And it's all thanks to those superheroes that helped us with our problems. Not only did they help us with our problems, they helped us learn that we can also be superheroes. Superheroes and Standards! <laughs> Hello, I'm Amara Ames, and this is the behind the scenes of this movie we're making. This short film we're making. It's not quite tilted up. Anyway, we'll see you back at the set, which is actually right here. <laughs> Sometimes all you need is a bit of... <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny, there's like, suddenly the cape. Superhero standards! And action! <laughs> Sorry, I was waiting for the track, okay. <laughs> Look at you or I'll smile. Action. <laughs> <laughs> 